Welcome to the Suerte del Molino Farm, Andalusia in Spain. Nature is changing. We are changing. We are not always sure exactly how and when and what for. But uh, I'm sure eventually we will get the hang of what nature is about. Our sandbox for propagation of cuttings into plants. Let's have a look. Some green leaves. This is the um, asparagus seeds we planted. The figs already have fruit. So these are these are mulberries. So to me always the question is why did those two grow and the others not? It can be too wet, it can be too dry. I don't know. And then we have the home oak that came up by itself. There's another one over there, one over there, because it fell in from this tree above the sandbox. We have planted so many of this mulberries because I really wanted a lot of them two out of one two three four five six seven eight ten two out of fifty um, each plant has a preference from for when it should be cut what moisture content what heat content when now unfortunately we're not there yet where we take the time or the effort to find out so we don't know and this is um, i don't know One coming there and one coming there. In the past we used to label them and do a lot of things, but uh, we are so busy with other things. Okay, this is Vachalia Karu. There's one growing, two. This is a pear. Some more figs. That one is uh, Paulovnia. Pomegranates. Looks like they are doing well. This is more Vachali. No, this is the Acacia Ilata. It also looks like mulberry. Why does this mulberry grow like this and the others not? Here we are into the uh, Holunder, the 
elderberry. It's also a vine. Fig. Vachalia karu. One to three out of twenty. The figs doing well, but that spot not. Ah, those are the quince and the loquat. So now they have leaves, but they are still very fragile. We cannot uh, take them out now. They have to spend much more time in here. We can have a look in October, another five months from now, but even then, we learned from last year it's not good. I planted a lot of uh, Bougainvillea. One is growing. Two. Beautiful red color I picked on the side of the road. And this is Irba Luisa. And this is Gooseberry. Here is the um, willow. They grow very quickly. A lot of leaves. We have pruned it already twice. But you cannot transplant it now. They just wilt and die off. And some more flowers, some more gooseberries, they're doing well. Some more daisies, don't eat my sticks, dog. This looks like oleander. I didn't know we put them in there. And this looks like a weed. And then again the uh, Asparagus. We were so excited to see this plants coming up from the seeds. And then a lot of nothing. Oh, this is also the um, um, Acacia illata and these look like vine, no, looks like a fig. So are we happy? Yes. Will it carry on like this? No. Today we had almost 40 degrees Celsius. That's why we have this shade net on top of it. We are still experimenting. At night we close it with plastic to keep the humidity in because this is this hot, dry wind. And that is the killer of all plants here, is the hot, dry wind. And then if there is no water for the plant, it just dies off. If we get 20% of what is alive right now, I will be extremely happy. Certain things, I mean there's one loquat there, Nothing else. Yeah. 
we don't know much but it will be so nice to have a dedicated person to do this propagation of plants to plant them all over the farm to hand them to the neighbors to encourage them it's a full-time job we don't spend much time on this but every year we learn more we have the cinder blocks plastic underneath the same plastic comes over filled with sand topped with uh, wood chips so now and then we feed it uh, with a spray on the leaves we water it every second day why don't we want the roots to go into the soil the soil is extremely bad here because we leveled the soil here we took all this topsoil away and once it's in there it's extremely difficult to get out it works for us so far we had this cinder blocks much lower but we raised it because we realized the hot dry wind is the killer as I have mentioned greenhouse is empty of plants if you leave this close the temperature is 70 degrees Celsius in there too much so 20 meters further under this home oak I can just stop anywhere these are seedlings from acorns there must be hundreds and thousands of them so uh, the question is what to do with them and the simple answer is nothing we have learned it is they actually die very quickly if we remove them they are now exposed because I gave a haircut to the um, weeds that were growing here especially all around the house we have planted hundreds of these seeds and we only have about 10 that are growing we are learning it's so cute these small plants they have these spikes the thorns and uh, once it's older like these big trees they don't have it anymore plants can protect themselves in only two ways chemically and then also their physiology because they cannot move so plants have tenants to hurt harm kill their uh, killers so uh, plants do harm people vegetables um, we have learned what to eat and what to cook and then also the shape or the thorns especially with the uh, achalia karu amazing thorns still some water in the pond 
The other one on the east is almost dry. I am still pleased that it did hold water. Sky can still swim. The hammock is out. Now we can hang around. In these temperatures it is uh, best not to do too much. I try to do a lot but uh, if you're out in this heat the next day I am worth nothing. Till next time. Goodbye.